Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dangin. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the HD Fury Vertex to play games in Dolby Vision on your projector. Stick around. Thanks everybody for joining me here on The Dangin. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe below. Like I mentioned before, today I'm going to show you how to use the HT Fury Vertex. I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to show you how to plug it into your projector. And I'm going to show you how to use your Xbox Series X to play games in Dolby Vision on your projector. Now, I'll be using the LS12000 as my demonstration. I'll show you some content of the footage between HDR10 and Dolby Vision on the Xbox Series X side by side and you can make the determination yourself if the HD Fury Vertex is worth it for you. Thanks again for joining me here on The Dangin and let's get going. Okay everybody, let's take a moment to begin and talk about the HD Fury Vertex. This is the first iteration of the HT Fury Vertex. There are a few more out there on their website now available for purchase. This unit includes an OLED screen on the front side that indicates the input and output and what the display is computing. On the side, you'll notice you have a reset button, an EDID button, an info button, and an INP button. On the back side, you'll have a scale button, an HDCP button, as well as a mini USB port. On the input side, showing you here, there is a HDMI input on the top, there's an HDMI input on the bottom, and there is an RS-232 port. On the output side, similar to the input, you have a UHD HDR output 1 on top, and you have a UHD HDR output 0 on the bottom. The top one indicates 1080, the bottom one indicates 2160, and then you also have a headphone port. If we take a look at the bottom of the HD Fury Vertex, you'll notice that there are some indicators as well, just describing the output side, the HDCP 2.2 side, the follow input GUI, the HDCP 1.4, EDID auto mix mode, custom use GUI, 4K 6420, 8-bit SDR stereo, along with no scaling pass-through, custom scaling GUI, auto scaling, OLED control input switch, and the in inputs at the bottom. So that's the HD Fury unit. What does it come with? Well, it does include a PC cable that has the USB-A port on that indicating PC which also runs to the mini USB port which will go into the side of the HD Fury Vertex along with a USB PSU or power uh, supply unit. This goes into your standard plug, or you can plug it in via USB. Now let's move over to the projector and take a look at how to hook it up. Okay, everyone, this is the back of the Epson LS12000. This is the example projector that I will be using to show you how to hook up the HD Fury Vertex. The HD Fury Vertex here is this small unit like I explained before. What we have is the HDMI 1 cable, and this is coming from the Xbox Series X. What we will do is we will plug in this HDMI 1 into the input 1 or input 0 on the back of the HD Fury Vertex. In this case, I'm going to plug it into the input 0 because that's how I have it set up. So, input from the Xbox Series X goes into the input zero on the back of the HD Fury. You will then need another HDMI cable. And what you will use is the UHD HDR out, in my case, which is 
2160p or 4K. We'll plug that into the back side or the output of the HD Fury to the HDMI 2 port on the back of the projector. Now, you won't see anything lighting up yet. The next thing that we're going to have to do is plug in the power supply unit. I showed you this earlier in the video. You will take the mini USB end of this power source, plug it in just like that. The vertex unit will power on. You will then see three indicators. There's going to be the input zero, the TX1, and the TX0. Right now it's saying there's no signal well, on the, on the input side, but that's because I do not have the Xbox powered on yet. In the center, the TX1, EDID it says is not available, but on the bottom, the TX0, which is the output, is the Epson projector. It is showing that it is 4K60 capable, 444 HDR. Next step, let's plug this into a PC and check out the settings. Okay, everyone, the next step is we are going to plug the HD Fury USB cable from the HD Fury Vertex device into this laptop computer. As you'll notice here, the HD Fury is hanging, the USB cable is coming off the left hand side, and we're going to plug it in to this computer's USB A port. Once plugged in and verified, Go to the HD Fury Vertex folder that you'll already have installed, and you'll then open the HD Fury Vertex GUI. This is the Vertex utility. So once you have all of the software downloaded from the HD Fury website onto your PC, you're going to see this Vertex utility, and you're going to go into this in order to set up the Dolby Vision settings for your HD Fury Vertex. Now, this is the most important tab in my mind. It's called the EDID Manager. So once you boot up the Vertex Utility, you'll go into this screen. My recommendation is to go down and click Custom Select. Once you select Custom Select, change this port 0 drop down to the selection number 5. That's going to be Custom Default Sony A1 Low Latency Dolby Vision Version 2. And then you're also going to select for port one, the same thing. It's another drop down. select option number five, custom default, Sony A1 low latency Dolby Vision version two. Just to uh, verify a few things, also make sure above here you have HDR10 plus selected, 2020 selected, HLG selected, uh, select DV force metadata and native. Once all of these selections are made that I'm showing you here, go over to Upload EDID, and while you're plugged in to your Vertex, hit that Upload EDID, and it'll transfer that file and those settings to that Vertex. This next page, Scalar, similar scenario. Make sure you select all of these options and do the same thing. Next tab, HDR, same thing, send HDR once you select all of these settings I'm showing you right here below. And the same thing goes for this tab. If there are any changes that you need to make to make it closer to what I'm showing here, do the same thing. On this selection here, same thing. This page also make sure all of these different selections are clicked. And you'll do the same thing, send, 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 CEC, same uh, idea. Once you have this correct information here, click send CEC. If you have RS-232 going, make sure you send the test and do this different baud rate selection. And then these are all the different macros, etc. Now, I haven't done anything with this, but this is the more advanced portion that I will eventually get into. And then finally, the config. Make sure all of these auto switches are all correct. You have HDCP 2.2 selected if supported, the logo on and off. That stuff all is controlled via this, this plugin utility, and then it shows up on your screen and allows the Vertex to take a Dolby Vision signal, process that Dolby Vision signal, and that particular color gamut, etc 
and process it through your projector lens so you are basically watching the closest thing you can to Dolby Vision via your projector. It's a very cool option. Just make sure that you watch and use all of these settings that I have so you can at least get the results that I'm getting. Once you complete the settings in the Vertex menu on your PC, jump into your Xbox Series X, go to the TV and video options, select Output to Dolby Vision and Output to Dolby Vision Gaming, and you're all set. Now that we have selected the Xbox Series X Dolby Vision setting in the menu, let's, let's show you some Forza Horizon 5 footage comparing Dolby Vision first, HDR10 second, and then both Dolby Vision and HDR10 side by side.
The next game that we're going to compare HDR to Dolby Vision is Halo Infinite. I'm going to show you the HDR10 version first and then the Dolby Vision second, followed by them both side by side.
All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video of the HD Fury Vertex playing some Dolby Vision games on the Xbox Series X. That's right, it looks really good on a projector. If you're interested in purchasing one of these products that I was showing you today, including the HT Fury Vertex, check out the links below. They have several products to offer on their website, and they probably have one that'll fit your needs just fine. Thanks again for joining me here on The Danger, and I'll talk to you guys next time.